Hello everyone, it's the Hendrick Crew here, and today we're going to be racing at the Daytona Road Course for the Monster Energy Sim Series. And also, we will be using the Truck and Xfinity Series as well for some of these races. So, you will be seeing Trucks and Xfinity this season, and possibly for the rest of the season. It's going to be amazing. And I think Ben Road should be starting, starting up somewhere near the front. But we're going to go. Track side here. At Daytona. So this race is going to be. Pretty much. 15 laps. Here in the truck series. Getting ready to see who's going to win. And for an amazing race today. It looks like Ben Road should be starting up somewhere near the front. And also as well. There will be some. Good racing action. And then we're going to see the Xfinity series. So, let's see who can win. Besides, there could be a lot of first-time winners. This is the first race in the NASCAR Monster Energy Sim Series trucks. So, we're going to be seeing some amazing racing at the Daytona Road Course. So let's see who could possibly get it done today. And we're going to see the best ones today who could possibly be your favorites. Alright, one of your favorites is the 99 of Ben Road started up at the front. He did a very good qualifying lap time, and he's a very good driver. Let's see him possibly compete. As well with the four of John Hunter Nemechek starting in round two. He's one of your ones to watch. He's doing amazing here, and he wants to get his first career win in the Chuck Series for the first race. As well for your ones to watch, it's going to be the 98 and the 88. Matt Crafton and his teammate. They really want to get a win. They're going to be fighting up there. So let's see who can win it today. Coming to the green flag in just a moment. Daytona can always have a lot of crashes, even at the road course. Green flag, we're racing here at the Daytona Road Course for the Monster Energy Truck Series. Oh, the Cheeto Sim Series, actually. Ben Rhodes in the lead. He's doing good. Just like how he was on pole. He's in the lead right now. A lot of guys went three, nearly four wide for the lead. Gonna be a lot of battles up at the front. New leader to 21. Oh, we got a hard wreck. It is the 44 of Natalie Decker. To the tire barrier is pretty hard, I should say. Oh, yeah, I just. Oh, man. There's been a lot of crashes like this at this racetrack. That's going to be our first caution already of the day. Natalie Decker with a huge wreck. What is going on? Hello, Dad. E. He's working. Well, it looks like uh he's featured into our video. Don't mind him. Oh. 
You know what? We could just stay green, I guess. I didn't even make it. On to lap two. Another truck that spun, and we're going to have a caution. Zane Smith in the lead. Haley Deegan, Deegan somewhere in the top ten. <laughs> I said her name wrong. I think I said Degan, which is not even... What? That sounds weird. Great racing. I want to throw the caution, though, because it was a really hard wreck. So, I think we're going to have to throw the caution, though, and skip to lap 5. Which means there will be 11 laps to go. I'm going to have to put up the caution here because the 44 has flipped over into the freaking tire barriers. And a lot of stuff going on today. Zane Smith started somewhere in the middle of the field. After getting a good practice time. But after that, his qualifying time was really, really bad. Because, of course, uh, he got crashed. Sadly, that would be very bad for him. But he's up to the front Ready for his first win as well. He's another one to watch at Daytona. As the field is stacked up for the Geico Research Zone. Green flag is in the air. They come to the turns. Zane Smith still leading, but four wide. Corey Roper takes it. They're like five wide somewhere in the back. What a start. Or sure they say, what a restart. Zane Smith takes back the lead. And that was... This is amazing racing. Look at Zane Smith out there with his truck. And he's really trying to get a win today. I tried to do a Minecraft video, but my Minecraft servers are cursed. Like, actually, there's lava everywhere. I keep hearing random noises in the game, too. So I feel like it's kind of weird to be hearing that. Like, actually, weird. Because, you know, Hero Brian, he's been in Minecraft a lot. Oh, wait, why am I lining them up? You see them passing. Wait, we should actually, like, do the sound. Zane Smith doing great at the Daytona Road Course. Oh, we got a spin! It's the 99 of Ben Rhodes out. Caution. Man, we were, we, I just added the racing sounds and now it looks like Ben Rhodes will be out, and he was one of our favorites, doing great. After day two on the road course, looking for his first career win. Everybody's looking for the first career win because it's the first start of the Struck Series. And now it looks like their days are going to be ruined. But hey, Ben Rhodes still has his teammates to win. So will they win it? That's the question. That was 
Ugh. Ben Rhodes spun out. He was somewhere in the top 10 looking to get back up to the field and the way he went out into the grass. Green flag is in the air. And it turn it turns one and two. Now heading onto the straightaway. Is his name Smith? No, it's the nine Corey Roball, I think. And there's going to be a lot of positions being gained or lost. People still looking for a win as he went like three wide. We are here onto the uh, front straightaway. And here's the front stretch cane. We have not seen this front stretch cane a lot. The nine's still leading, but it looks like got a surprise mover trying to make the move, but the nine holds the lead onto lap seven. Actually, no, lap nine. Lap 9.15, just a few laps to go. They're going to be pitting in just one more lap. Nine still holds the lead. Will he be able to hold it for long? No, he won't. The 40 of Ryan Truex takes it. Man, Truex dominating. What do you run to X in the lead? They're six wide and a big hit. Oh. Oh my gosh. This was the 45. My goodness. That, that was a big hit for Chastain. Rush has seen this running 45, by the way. And we're going to have another caution. Which means pit road will be open. Oh, that was a big hit there. And the 45 upside down. My goodness, that was just a huge hit. Thankfully, he's okay. If that was in the NASCAR Cup Series, that would be a big hit. Whoa! I don't know what's going on over here. We got another crash over here. Jeez. Zane Smith beats him off pit road. There you see them. Man, I don't know what is going on, but oh, a big, big hit there for 45 of Chastain upside down at Daytona. As well, Tate Fogelman is going to be out.
man, I'm gonna have what well, looks like a f three lap to go restart. Restarting on to lap number 13 of 15. Man, Zane Smith up into the front once again, regaining those positions. And I think as well, should be restarting up at the front. Yes, he is. Austin Hill to the inside, which means he's going to be taking the lead away. That's why you saw him switching with Zane Smith there. If he took the outside, I think Zane Smith would have been in that lead, but I don't know. But the green flag is back in the air. Daytona. Austin Hill is in the lead, but I think, is that Ryan Shrux up in the front challenging? Three wide, but Hill still is in the lead. Somebody got sideways and Fun, but was able to keep going. I saw that. I don't know who it was, but it was pretty close. Great racing at Daytona. The pack, man. Pack's gonna be going really good here. Long as they don't have any turn one crashes, we haven't had. A turn one wreck in a long time. Pretty sure we probably never even had one before. Well, no, we have Kyle Larson in the NASCAR Cheeto Sim Series. Has actually crashed on this stretch, hit the wall pretty hard. Here they come. As on lap number 14, two laps to go. They're all battling. It's gonna be close. Will there be no caution? Because if they could stay green with no wrecks, we could come to the white flag cleanly. But we have to see it and make it happen. Oh, we had a huge wreck. Oh my gosh. That's... Timmy Hill with the huge wreck. Oh my gosh. That's going to be a caution. That's going to. Oh my goodness. We were about to make it to the white flag cleanly there. And. Oh my god. Timmy Hill. Big, big hit. He flew across the racetrack. I think he hit the wall there as well. The truck is on fire now, but... That was a big, big wreck. We're going overtime. Come back to the green flag here. Timmy Hill has now climbed out. Man, he just flew. Green flag is back in the air. That was a huge hit for Timmy Hill. Luckily, he is all right. Taken to the infield care center. like Sheldon Creed making a move but it looks like Austin Hill still in the lead 
Will anybody take it? Because they're going to be battling and fighting up for the lead. Oh, we got another wreck. The 10. The 10 truck has wrecked another caution. That means that there will be another overtime. Coming back to the green flag. The leaders have not decided to pit. So we may be coming back to the green flag now. The 10 truck didn't for Joe Cobb has climbed out. Green flag is back at Daytona. This is wild. Turn one, I think somebody missed it. Not sure who missed turn one. But still, Austin Hill in the lead. He could win this one just as long he doesn't crash. Here comes the 17 up to the front. As Wolf, Tyler, Ankrum, no Rex. We could make it to the white flag green. If anybody wants to sign up for the truck series, you can find my username on Roblox, which is ghostlyuser365. Till well, give me a friend request. I will accept it. Tell me what number you want, and I will give it to you. Sign-ups are free right now. I'm lining them up again. Wait, flag one more time around. What the heck is going on over here? Here they come. Right now it looks like Ingram in the lead. Austin Hill trying to get that lead back. Can he take it away? I don't know why I'm starting to line them up when the caution isn't even out. Here we come. Ankrum still in the lead. No crashes that have occurred. This is a fight over here. The 19 and the 38 are fighting. Those are lapped cars, trucks. But we are still green. Who will win? Here they come. They're on to the bank curves. Bank turns. Will they make it without wrecking? Here they come on the final bank turn. Turn. Tyler Ankrum is still in the lead. Will he get his first career win? Yes, you will. It's going to be Tyler Ingram with the photo finish at the line. Who's going to win that battle? The 19 or the 38? 
You have to see that battle, but Tyler Ankum wins in the photo finish. One truck got side by side with him, and that was amazing. Who will win? Here. Here they come. The 38 is in that lead. Right now, as the 88 spins. And the 38 is going to win that battle between the 19. And the 88 spun and kept going. Great finish here at the Daytona Road Course. And I will see you guys later. As we have another battle. But it looks like... Oh! oh, oh, oh it's going to be close. Looks like the 24 Chase Elliott may have got it there. He may have gotten the position. I think so. That was very close. But... The Daytona Road Course is crazy. Getting ready, ready for the Xfinity race here. And I'll see you guys later.